Oh boy. Oh wow. Really? They had to put an RFID. So That's the sticker. That's the sticker that he ripped it? off. Yeah, but yours had it on the front. This one's on the side because I picked the right bottle. I'm not eating any more nuts, by the way. Welcome to Curious Republic. My name is Dutch. And how are you? I'm Ben Richards, the butcher of Bakersfield. Who? <laughs> ben Booker, the butcher of Bakersfield. Who? <laughs> <laughs> yes, standing in for Jules is none other than Sir Ben Richards. Mm. And we're in Ben Richards' territory now. Yeah, he we're is from... Uh, Deutschland. Yeah, Deutschland. Yeah. And uh, he took us to his favorite liquor store called Aldi. <laughs> and uh, when we were in there, I found an $8 scotch, <laughs> and I figured we should drink this. You know why? Because at first I saw it, and I thought it was Statesman like bourbon. The movie? Like the movie? No, the bourbon that we all love, the old Forester Statesman. Yeah, one of our, stuff. You know, we're one of, those, we're one of those crew that liked it a lot. Mm. Who didn't? Uh, I don't know. People don't like it. Yeah, no, no. But uh, anyway, I got excited because I thought, oh, well, there's some Statesman bourbon. But no, it's Statesman scotch, and this is a, the finest. It says it's the finest. Hopefully Congratulations it is. on being the finest. Yeah, Hopefully it is. Celebrated. So this it's was very classy with the, uh, the screw top. Yeah. Uh, the uh, Scotch whiskey was produced and specially selected and matured according to old Scottish tradition. Mm. And uh, it says it's a rare selection of Scottish whiskeys, perfectly blended. Oh, yeah. Lots of no age statement, words. and it is forty percent alcohol, and it is a seven hundred milliliter bottle. Now they did worry that someone's going to steal this fine bottle by putting this RFID sticker on. Well, it's the finest. Well, we of course it. it's, the, it's the finest. People would steal it. Mm. Does that mean it's seventy one hundred liters? Ooh. Or sorry, uh, 7.1 liters. Sorry, 0. 0.71 liters. It's 700 milliliters. That's an L. Oh, it is? It's 700 milliliters. <laughs> it's an L for a liter. Oh, it is, yeah. <laughs> All right, enough of this. Let's try this. Oh, crap. Wow. <laughs> wow. Don't spill you it. It's actually a, that's the finest it right here. whiskey. Sorry. Scotch whiskey finest. Show some respect. I'm getting a little aeration. He okay. likes to do that. He likes to, he thinks he's like some kind of a cocktail guy. Like uh, Tom Cruise. Like Tom the Cruise. Half of that is right. Jeez. <laughs> Why is this so difficult to pour? It shouldn't be that difficult to pour. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't move the glass. You should ask yourself right? that. Let's go. All right. So. What do we do? Finish How do I do Scotch this? whiskey. So this is a fresh crack. Again, it's not really a review. This is just our initial reaction to opening this bottle up fresh. Oh, my gosh. We don't even, even have it. I don't even have a rag. You've or ruined it. You've did. ruined everything. Uh, how is the nose? <sighs> Why am I here? <laughs> Bring out the best for Dylan. I honestly was going to say that the nose is not terrible. I get like nothing. Really? I can't smell anything on this. I just get like generic like J&B scotch flavor. Yeah, it's like, it's like just, a cheap. Yeah, just generic scotch. Like if you had scotch flavored ice cream, it would, fla- it would smell like this. Yeah. This is like one of those reject barrels or I don't know what it is. It's like Doors. Why would like they Yeah, the except finest. like it's rejected from Doors. I right? doubt they rejected I mean, it's like, it's, like white label Doors. Yeah. It was it was about to head to the white label Doors, but then it's like, no, oh, like, this oh, is too bad. Nope, there's nope. actually no flavor in this one. Away. Let's, let's sell it in Germany. All right. <laughs> um, should we go in? You guys want to try it? Sure. Super excited to try this, aren't you? Cheers. Wow. Nope. There's like nothing there. Nope. Let me just say, I can replicate this. In a repli- so I'm gonna, I'm gonna this get, is replicator scotch. Nah, I think the flavors would be better. You know what You know what they did? This is this is what it feels like. I feel like they just got a bucket of water, right? <laughs> they went to Home Depot and got a piece of wood and just stuck it in there and kind of swirled it around and then bottled it. <laughs> That's what I'm tasting. <laughs> it's been years since I've had anything like Cuddy or J and B or like you know like even a Johnny Walker and this tastes like a Scotch and water after your ice melted. Yep. Like, it tastes like water. It, it tastes so like a Scotch and water in the bottle. I mean, it's smooth. That's not that like a Scotch and water would be after the you, the ice and the water. Yeah, oh, but it's like flavorless. This is, this is really bad. I don't I mean, think like, it's bad. It's just I, nothing I think it's there. It's bad. It's just really, really weird and bitter. And I don't get bitterness. I, I get, don't even. I get oh, like nothing. I don't even think you could call this like 
good on a budget because the, the cost to your soul to just get drunk no, would be forget this, too forget high. your soul. I don't have a soul, but my <laughs> my the lining of my stomach is like like disintegrating. That's your from soul. This. Yeah, it's like yeah. oh, it there, is. This just brings sadness. Caustic is the best way I get it. I don't know where you guys are getting smooth. It's smooth in that there's there's no burn, there's no, no flavor, burn. there's no burn. There's I mean, nothing. Yeah, the lining of my intestines are going to be smooth because it ripped away the, like basically everything. So, so 40 is too high proof for Dylan, we just learned. Oh, That's actually... It is. You could drink this before a colonoscopy, man. Oh, it is. It's like an inverted colonoscopy. Like, I can't... I, I, I cannot stress enough how much this tastes like a scotch and water. That yeah. You, like, it's but, a scotch and water. Yeah, you're right. It tastes like I had some cheap scotch that I left my ice in, and it just... Mellowed it out to the point where it just tasted mostly like water. You know what? Very good analogy, Dutch. Oh. Yeah. Uh, but uh, you know how you sometimes forget a crappy scotch on the sh- on the like the your table, and then it kind of evaporates a little bit overnight, and then it starts to stink. Yeah. Like but then you add a bunch of water to it. And <laughs> no, then it I tastes... throw it out. Oh. Well, well, no, but this if you added water to it, it's counter like... long enough for it to, va- to evaporate. Uh, you know, when I go over to uh, Duch's house and he pours <laughs> me the finest <laughs> statesman whiskey, I just like politely pretend to sip it and then I leave it out. Yeah. All right. So statesman blended scotch. Don't buy it. It's eight bucks. I give it an. I give it an F. I would. I can. Cons- I. I think or, that you're. you're f- the, your U.S. based viewers are being done a favor by not having this available to them. Yeah, I don't know. Do they sell this at Aldi America? That's a. I, I don't think they sell mm-hmm. liquor at Aldi America. I think they do. If they do, then I hope this isn't the scotch that everybody says Aldi is so good with because this is not good. Wow. Maybe people this really is... like Aldi like scotch and water and that. Maybe. How much did you pay for this Dutch? Nine dollars. Nine euros. That's not even a value though, considering how bad this is. It's not a value. You, no. you could buy you could buy like a American whiskey for like ten bucks. 12 bucks, right? I mean, spring a little bit more money for some Johnny Walker. You'll be, yeah. you'll get some flavor at least. For, for There's sure. like nothing here. So so what do you think? They're, they're going for like, yeah, there's Cheap. no peat, right? No, there's no peat. It's it's very easy to drink in that it, there's like, there's no burn. So if you were just like, oh, I want to be sophisticated and drink scotch neat, and you poured this, this is the first thing you ever had, you're like, well, I can actually sip this. Like it doesn't burn. I got it. I think we should blind this and have Jules taste it. I think Jules would love this mixed with mango juice. Mm. I have so many questions. I think he calls it mango. <laughs> coconut juice? Then coconut juice. <laughs> and on that note, thank you for watching this fresh crack. It's completely uninformative. And uh, Ben, you want to take us out? Tip your bartenders. Uh, if you're shopping at Aldi and you see this, just uh, try it. Buy it. You know, for nine bucks, it... <laughs> stay curious. No, no. Uh, no, don't buy don't it. Don't buy it. But also stay curious. But still stay curious. I and tip your bartenders, but I that's that's it's a curiosity. Why wouldn't curiosity you? For public? Nine, mm. Yes. For nine year nine bucks. T- actually no. in the US it's probably ten bucks. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> actually he did buy it. Oh I no, guess, I gave you money for it. So right, yeah, yeah. I guess I did buy it. Well Happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you. That's I tre- oh, I, it is the finest Scotch whiskey. I will treasure this. On uh what's it called? Butcher's channel, um it gets a what is it? Uh, three quarters of a star? No, this is less than three quarters of a star. Mm. <laughs>